Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm tranquila today. I've had a nice day. <laughs> Nobody's bothered me. Jim's not around. At least the artist, she, she just, I don't speak to her. She don't want to speak to me. So I found on the sales rack at Safeway, my big outing is Safeway and the post office to post all my letters and find out who's gotten what. Um, that's how exciting my life is these days. But, uh, so... My big find on the sales rack. I saved almost seventeen dollars. <laughs> These were like a dollar fifty or something. Uh, cashew carrot ginger soup. Now I'd love to make this. I mean, I could never make it. You know, buying fresh ingredients, but I was like, oh, this is because I love. I love carrots, I love cashew, and I love ginger. So, of course. So there's all sorts of stuff you can do with this. So I'm doing like a risotto type thing because I had this calorosa rice. Much cheaper than risotto rice, but it, it, it works. I mean, extremely much cheaper. Um. So then they had also... <laughs> I mean, I got all the sales. So they had also had sales on uh, frozen, you know, uh, broccoli in the frozen section. Now the thing, of course, vegetables right out of the garden are your best choice. However, and it's the same with fish. I mean, my God, I used to tell these, it was particularly in Brussels with these Spanish women who would go and buy fresh fish to freeze it. They said, you buy the frozen fish. The frozen fish was frozen. A lot of it was frozen already before it even got to port. So it's a hell of a lot better than buying the fr fresh fish and freezing it yourself if you're going to be using frozen fish. Of course, a fresh is always better than frozen, but, you know, the realities of life, so bleach. So, um, and, 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 and the same thing goes with a lot of these... Uh, uh, the vegetables that you'll find in the freezer section. I mean, I'm not talking about the prepared food. I'm talking about the, 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 the vegetables that have been washed and cut and, and, I mean, the price I paid for that. As I say, I buy everything on sale. I, I forget what it was. But the price I paid for that, never could I have bought fresh broccoli and cut it down, and this is only the florets. I mean, never. So yeah, they had a garden outside, and we could go, because that's, the second you cut the fruit or vegetables, or take them from the tree, whatever it is, the, 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 how should I say? the death process begins and they start losing vitamins and minerals and taste. So sometimes, you know, we don't want to go back to a totally agrarian survival, you know, substance living. And so industrial products, I mean, I, you know, yes, they're good in their context and within their price range. So, and I've added, again, I bought on sale, $6.99 a pound for shrimp. Uh, I mean, that's what ham is costing me. Okay, I could, I could do eggs. That's a lot cheaper. 
but that's uh, I mean you want to get a decent protein uh, that's pretty good price anywhere from five to seven dollars a pound um, you know I, again unless you don't want to go with eggs or uh, beans and, 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 and I mean you want to have those in your your diet so I did I have some shrimp I'm gonna add to that uh, and I'll see how it came out but I really liked the um, I was intrigued by cashew uh, carrot and ginger soup because those are three things that I absolutely adore so we'll see how it comes out I also have um, it, it, it could also be a filling for this arancini stuff. I'm, oh my god, you could put all sorts of stuff in that. So, there's my recipe for today.